South Korea's economy expanded an impressive 1.4 percent in the third quarter, the biggest jump in seven years. The country's semiconductor exports are seen as the key that uh, is the key driving factor behind those figures. For a closer look at the rosy numbers for that industry and what might lie ahead, Kim Hye Sung reports. Samsung Electronics and SK Hynix both posted record earnings in the third quarter thanks to a boom in semiconductors. The two Korean tech giant semiconductor exports are expected to reach 90 billion U.S. dollars for this year, accounting for 16 percent of the nation's total exports. Prices of DRAM and NAND flash, the two main memory chip products, have doubled on year as global demand exceeded supply, which has been flat since 2015. We've entered a super cycle, leaving more profits for the world's three main chip makers, Samsung, SK Hynix, and Micron Technology, who make margins of around 50 percent on their chips. The global semiconductor industry is expected to top 400 billion U.S. dollars for the first time ever this year. And with demand for smartphones and cloud servers still rising, the global demand for DRAM and NAND flash memory is expected to outpace supply. And according to IHS Market, the boom is forecast to continue until 2018. To maintain its lead in the game, Samsung Electronics announced in July that it will invest $27.6 billion in semiconductors this year alone, doubling from last year's. SK Hynix also raised its investment to over $9 billion to expand its production line. But at the same time, China, which consumes more than 60 percent of the world's semiconductors, is investing more than $100 billion to become a global semiconductor power by 2025. It will likely start producing its own memory chips by the end of 2018 and could upend the super cycle. Investment in non-memory chips, shifting from processed mass production to diversified small quantity production will be critical for Korean companies. The fourth industrial revolution is expected to drive demand for non-memory chips that are used for artificial intelligence and Internet of Things. Recruiting talented engineers will also be important. 2017 marked a record year for semiconductor giants. While cashing in on the supercycle boom, a sophisticated long-term strategy will determine whether Korean companies can keep their number one spot in this technology-intensive industry. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.